Hello and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing the playtest demo to the ninth Charnel, and if you'd like to play this for yourselves, the links and the details are down below in the description for you, alright? This is going to be a first person psychological survival horror game, and I really hope you enjoy it. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video by the end, alright? Let's begin the playtest. Oh boy. Has that guy been stapled to a tree? Oh dear. <laughs> Within like five seconds I'm getting an Outlast vibe. Ooh. Uh, why is he coming this way? I'm not next, am I? Let's hope not. That would be a short game. Oh. Hello? Well, they haven't burned me yet. Oh. Alright. Just like that, he's gone. And just like that, I'm in the game. Okay, let's see. Can I... Uh, <laughs> I don't think I can leave. I'm looking into the void right now. It's so dark. Uh, right. Where are we going then? In there? Uh, yeah. At least there's a light. Alright. Bones already. I suppose that makes sense. Uh, a charnel or a charnel house would be used for storing skeletal remains, usually. What have we got down here? this. I can move this around. I can take a good look at it, but I can't pick it up. Hmm. Alright. And this? What was that? A water bottle? Something like that? Right, let's keep on going. Uh, okay. That might be the end of the line. Please equip the key to unlock. Uh, okay, hang on. So we have an inventory. Fantastic. So this is... Oh, it doesn't tell me, but, uh... Is this the key? Please use the correct key. Okay. Well, I guess something has to go in that hole. But it's not that. Um, alright. Hmm. I can't pick up anything else down here. I can't pick this up. Uh, okay, fair enough. Okay, well, maybe we don't go in the cave after all. Or, or maybe I'm missing something. Maybe there's something on the floor down here. Let's go around here. Oh, oh! There's a light on now. What's this? Please equip the... Okay, here we go again. <laughs> so what, is it going to go in there? Oh, hang on. Oh! It does! That is the key! And again? Alright, until it's fully inside. That sounded pretty promising. I think we're probably going back inside the cave. Right, let's see. Uh, whoa, alright, hello. <laughs> How the hell did you get up there? Right. Uh, yes, okay, see the crouch. Uh, it seems like we can crouch, we can run. I don't think we can jump, though. Oh, really? I thought the door was going to be open. Please equip the key to one. Uh, right. Ah, uh, facing the same issue. There's nothing down here on the table? Right. Oh, hang on. What's that? Is that it? Thank you. <laughs> Alright. So, maybe this one's going to get slotted inside. Yeah, this pink one. Yeah. There you go. Alright. Very mysterious. Okay. It's a bit of a juxtaposition, actually. It's a bit strange, because we're going through a cave and everything, but then we go out to, like, street lights. Where is this place? Alright. So far, so good. I quite like the way it looks, and I quite like the way he's looking down at me. Are we going through? Can we go through? Right. Devil's house. Let's go meet the devil up there, shall we? 
Let's see. What's this? Christopher Harrison, C8. Okay. Here we go. Hey. Hmm. Well, it looks like most of them have come down already. The ceiling is probably going to come down and kill me, but before that, let's see if we can play a little bit of this horror game. Can we sit down? Maybe there's something up with the painting. This is obviously the viewing room. <laughs> there's nothing else to do here. All right. I, oh, I think I was, like, balancing on that thing, which has now disappeared. Right, there you go. That's going to be me soon, falling through the floor, probably. Okay. Nice. All right. Don't think we need it. Oh, hang on. Oh, there's a battery meter? Really? I don't think we need it here, so... Right, let's see. We got drawers. Uh, there's an elephant. A wooden carving of an elephant. I don't know if that's important. We're just going to put that back. Like a pocket watch. All right. Uh, let's see. We've got three drawers down here. And I can see my feet. Nice. All right. This is all developed by one person, as I understand. And I think they've been developing this over about a year or so. And so far, I'm quite impressed, honestly. In here? <laughs> well, in here, I'm definitely going to need to use my flashlight. Wow. What a sight. Okay. And who are you? Got a few more drawers here. Uh, we're down to 90% already. That's not good. Am I going to find batteries? I mean, I hope so, right? Okay, I don't think there's anything else here. The drawers have been removed. Right, let's move on. We've got a door across here. Seems like a pretty big place. Right. Okay. Ah, alright. We've got, we got a computer over here. Welcome! Alright, thank you. Username and password. I have no idea. Uh, remarkably, that doesn't work. Right. <laughs> Just for a second, I thought that might be another key. Alright. What's this? Experiments conducted. 1,485. Outcome received. 824. Success. 2. So it's got a success rate of 0 0.24. That's not great. What's this? The Escorp Institute of Research. Uh, the Escorp Genome Institute is now accepting new applications for senior research scientists. Biochemical and molecular genetics applicants must have a solid understanding of biological science. A PhD and an experience of 10 plus years are required for anyone interested in conducting research in biochemical or molecular genetics. As they advance in this career path, they may be given opportunities to participate in research projects or conduct their own. Okay, what's this? Ah. Oh, this is uh, Christopher Harrison's ID card. Maybe that's going to be his username. Yeah, it, maybe it is just like Christopher Harrison. Is there something on the back? He hasn't put the password on the back, has he? No, okay. Something down here? Dear Miss Charlotte, The purpose of this letter is to inform you of my intention to resign from my position as senior geneticist in the Department of Molecular Ecology at Epsilon Genome Research Institute, effective two weeks from now, on April the 21st, 2024. As my career goals have changed since I started working here, it feels like it's time for me to pursue my dream career that best reflects my current goals. I am grateful for the opportunities you provided me during my time at Epsilon. If you need any assistance as I transition out of my current role in the next two weeks, please let me know. As we move forward, I hope we can stay in touch. Thank you, Christopher Harrison. Right, okay, so he got the job and now he's leaving the job. What is his dream career, I wonder? Burning bodies? Hmm... Doesn't seem like the phone works. Let's see then. Alright. What have we got here? Got a few more drawers to look through. With nothing inside. <laughs> Alright. Uh, what's this? Oh. Oh, interesting. Okay. Are we going down to the basement already? Oh, I don't really fancy doing that. Got nothing in the boxes by the looks of it. Alright, let's see. Uh, this way? Yeah, it's a big place. I don't know if this is a window or a door, but either way, I don't think I'm getting through. No drawers there. Uh, and a dead end. Okay, fair enough. Looks like we've got a couple more ways to go. Let's try this one. Never mind. Let's try this one. Never mind. Okay, maybe the basement it is, right? I don't think there's anywhere else to go. I need to find out what the username and password is. Right. God, 
I'm wasting battery life. Do I need this? No, right. At the end, we are all the same. Okay. At the end, we are all the same. And I can flip all of these around. Right. I bet that door will unlock when I solve this puzzle. At the end, we are all the same. So they're all one symbol, but which one? Well, let's see. Oh, really? Ah, there's no circle on this one, so it can't be that. It's got to be another one then. Okay, um, right. Let's see. Is it going to be this one? Oh, yeah, okay. There's something about this that's very satisfying. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yep, there you go. Right. What have we got here? A wheelchair for Sarah. Is that the person that I saw in the portrait? Username. Mod Ejic. Modjic. Modjic. One of those. Either way, now we only need to find a password. What's this? Oh. Oh, right, that's that's for my flashlight. That was a battery. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Strange. I'm not going to find anything else here. There's a headless statue, but... Ah, there's blood on the wall. It's very, very strange. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, so I've got one half of it. I just need to find the password. I... Oh. Hello. <laughs> Looks like you've come down from upstairs. This is the devil house. Would you be the devil? Christopher? Oh, the door's open now. Ah, alright. Let's see then. Okay, we've got a blocked up door there. Let's see. Anything over here? Is that a giant key? That's a flashlight battery. Maybe that's Sarah. Can't use the TV by the looks of it. No drawers to pull out. What's this? Okay. Strange area. It's like a, a hidden compartment, a hidden room. Maybe something was blocking this at one point. Maybe someone was trapped back here. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just you know, grasping at straws at this point. Stabbing in the dark, really. This way, then? What's in here? Oh, here we go! The bathroom! Fantastic! With a working toilet! Hey, there you go! Right. Oops. Whoa! I mean, as cheap as that was, that was pretty good. I was not expecting that. Wait, I'm not locked in, am I? Okay, good. <laughs> the hell was that about? Right. Is there something over here? We've got some pills. Can we see what they are? Ah, uh, not really, and I'm wasting flashlight battery. Looks like they maybe had to take pills each day. Right. Over here? What's this? Hope, faith, and love. Right. Ah. Uh, Sarah's room, maybe? Can we open this up? No? Still don't really know what's going on here. Looks like we've got some drawings. Okay. Hmm. Nothing on the back? No? Alright. Huh. Is that that symbol again? It's a bit of a crude drawing of it, but I think it's meant to be the same. What does that mean? That person's been sort of crossed off. Are they dead? Maybe. Got a few more up here. Oh god, that's, that's actually kind of creepy. What's up with the eyes? I don't like that. I wouldn't have that in my room. That would give me nightmares. Oh man. Okay, a couple more drawers that I can't open. Okay. They seem to be kind of like floating away. Maybe they're both dead? I... I don't know. Hmm. Is there nothing else to find? I was hoping for some sort of clue to a password, honestly. Believe in yourself. It, it, is it believe? Maybe the password's believe. Hmm. I don't know. I might just have to... Oh, hang on. That's... I'm embarrassed right now, you know? Ah, okay. Here we go. Looks like we can maybe follow the devil upstairs. This is a big, big place. Right, let's see. We got some more drawers. 
Yes, but I can't pull them out. Never mind. All right. Uh, no clue to the password here. Can't use these either. Why is the TV placed here? Is it so you can watch it through this doorway? Very strange. Just the layout of this place doesn't make a great deal of sense to me. Okay. Yeah, this is a big, big place. Um, let's see then. No. And no. Something in the box. Come on. Come on. There's got to be something here. I hope I haven't overlooked it. Okay. Um, over here? I can't even try and use this door. Right. It looks like there's something on the table. Maybe some things. Alright. Oh, hang on. Right. There you go. Battery as well. Please equip the tape. Don't mind if I do. Let's see. There it is. Use. Put it in. Please take your sit. Take your sit. So, what's your name? <laughs> Thank you. I am Christopher Harrison. Hello, Christopher. Please tell me about your field of research. I'm a genetic engineer. I work for Epsilon Research Institute. I have contributed to over 10 global research projects with a highly knowledgeable and skilled team. We have done extensive research on genetic formulation at the Epsilon Research Lab, through which we have successfully created various new transplantation of cells, tissues, or whole organs from artificially modified animals and plants. Have you submitted your papers to the board? Yes. Okay. Well, we do have a copy of your paper, and we have looked upon it quite extensively. And do I say this? The nature of your project is quite sensitive, especially the type of resources you have used for your research, but also the level of modifications you have committed to them before transplantation. Did you guys receive a valid permit before conducting it? Yes, Probably not. Our team did. Did you? Okay. Let's go with it. We'll forward your paper. Our panel will notify you when the next circular begins. Huh, okay. Why do I not believe him? Why do I think he didn't get a permit at all? Okay, hang on. What's this? 1914. 1914? The start of the First World War? Is that going to be the password? Maybe. All right. Looks like we can't have a look at that. We can't go through there. I think we might be done, right? Okay, 1914. That seems to be the, the, the best guess I've got right now. So, let's head back. Ooh. It's never that easy, is it? Good thing I've got my flashlight. Right. I, uh, I, I don't like what I'm hearing. Am I in danger right now? Has the devil come back? Let's just go downstairs. Or not. Okay, I can't. Right, so... Am I diving out the window or something? What's going on? Let's see. Let's see. Can't go through there. Can't go through there, so... I don't know. I was hoping that maybe... I oh, hang on, hang on! Why didn't I do this before? Oh, I've got a key! I've got a key! Right. Well, maybe I do have to go back down the stairs. Maybe this is the key for that door. I feel like I would have checked that drawer, though, you know? Was it even there? Maybe it was. Yeah, there you go. Alright. Back down. <laughs> Alright. What's on TV? Okay. Was that like a, a smoke cloud or something back there? Behind the building? Is that it? I, oh no. The trees. And now we have birds. Right, okay. This is like a really bad version of the ring tape, isn't it? And then we're back to this. Right. 
I think it's just on repeat, to be honest. <laughs> That's the cut sound threshold, I guess. Let's go back to the office, and let's see if I can get onto this computer now. So it's Modijik and 1914, hopefully. Moment of truth. Hey, we're on. Okay, it looks like there's only a couple of things. My computer. Uh, my computer is apparently a photograph. Is that Christopher? And Sarah? They look so scuffed. Uh, Alright, that's it. That's everything. That's everything in this folder. Right, what about this one? Okay, we've got four more images? What's that? Huh. Okay. Next up. Alright. That looks like it's part of the house. I don't know if I recognize that, but hang on, maybe I need to look for that. Um, that's some of the stuff that's, like, above me, on the wall, right? Formulas, maths. I think that's where I am right now, the Devil House, or it's somewhere nearby, anyway. Really? That's that's all we get? Uh, not exactly the revelation I was expecting or hoping for, honestly. Huh. Right, so... Where, where... Ah! I knew I recognized it, so... It was a door. Leading to what? Oh, wow. Oh, now this can't be good. <laughs> Um, make sure you don't lean on the walls, holy crap. Yeah. I don't know how I got myself into this situation, but I probably shouldn't be doing this. I should be trying to return. Alright. Hello. Who are you? Are you the devil? Is it you, watching me from up above? Oh? Oh! It's not over! I thought that was going to be the perfect crescendo for the playtest demo, but no! We're still playing! And are we still in the house? Where are we right now? It seems like I don't have my flashlight anymore. I don't have anything in my inventory. What the... It's a psychological horror game, right? Maybe I was imagining a lot of that? Can we go this way? I... <laughs> Maybe we can, but I don't want to. Let's see if we can find a light source. Oh boy. Right. Ooh, okay. Uh, let's see then. This way? No. Around here to the left, I suppose. I am missing my flashlight, let me tell you. What is that? Is that, you know, I don't know, is that man-made? That hill doesn't look quite right. Maybe this has been excavated. I don't know, I don't know. Alright. Oh, hello. That symbol, that's what I saw in the static, wasn't it? Hey, oh. 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 What? Is he punishing him, or, or killing him, or...? Oh, damn. But, oh, and now the door unlocked. Oh, shit. Okay, right. Gotta find somewhere to hide. Gotta find somewhere to hide. Wait. Oh, God. Okay, we definitely don't want to go down there. Man. Uh, right. Are we okay? Where did that guy go? Again, maybe I was imagining it. I'm not sure. Alright. Maybe he went back upstairs. Okay. We've got another wheelchair. Edie, this time. Yeah, that's the same symbol, isn't it? Hang on. H to hide. We can hide? We can actually hide. Okay. I mean, it's a pretty obvious hiding spot, but fair enough. If I run into this guy, I'll be running back down. 
Okay. Ah, oh, there's a gate up here, but there's a key needed. Right, I've I've missed a key. It's not here, is it? On the stairs? On this landing? Hmm. It's either... Ooh, oh boy, oh boy. Right. He's back. Okay, hang on, hang on. Now might be my opportunity to hide. In the most obvious hiding spot. But he hasn't noticed me yet. Okay. Maybe he's going to open the gate for me? Uh, no, I don't think so. No, he's, he's coming back. Okay, right. Either you have the key or it's in that room back there. I don't know which. Are you just going to stand there? Please move. Oh, please move. I don't think he's going to move. Oh boy. <laughs> How haven't I been caught yet? Okay. Do I have to pick your pocket? Hmm. Right. Um. Let's see if he unlocked the door and just left it. No, no, I don't think so. Uh, right. <laughs> this feels like a little bit of a bug. I don't think he should just be standing here. Oh, okay, run, 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 run. We can't go that way. We've got to go this way. Shit. Whoa! What? Okay. Oh, that's the one place I didn't want to go, but I'm actually alive. I can't believe it. Alright. Who needs to go up when you can go down, right? That's what I always say. Okay. Is that that symbol again? That we saw on the wall? Is that Christopher? safe. Really, Chris? Really? I don't believe you. But I do believe it's the end of the playtest demo for the ninth channel. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video, okay? What did you think about this one? I thought this was pretty good. It was okay. Uh, a little bit rough around the edges here and there. It needs some work here and there, but um, it is, after all, the work of just one person, one very passionate developer, and I like what he's coming up with. It did spook me a couple of times. I quite like the puzzle to get through the door. I'd like to see more of that. Uh, yeah, interesting location. The story, I don't know much about the story quite yet, but I'd like to play a little bit more to find out. You know what I mean? Bit of a shame that AI bugged out at the very end, but hey, I made it to the end of the demo. And uh, yeah, maybe I'd like to play a little bit more. Might keep my eye on this one. Thanks for watching. See you next time. I'm not next, am I? Let's hope not. That would be a short game. Uh, ooh, alright, hello. <laughs> nice, alright. Don't think we need it. Oh, hang on. Oh, there's a battery meter, really? <laughs> Just for a second, I thought that might be another key. What is his dream career, I wonder? Burning bodies? Yeah, okay, so I've got one half of it, I just need to find the password. I- oh. Right. Oops. Whoa! God, that's that's actually kind of creepy. What's up with the eyes? I don't like that. Oh, hang on. That's... Please take your sit. Take your sit. So, what's your name? <laughs> Ooh. It's never that easy, is it? Good thing I've got my flashlight. Back down. <laughs> right. Okay. This is like a really bad version of the ring tape, isn't it? Where? Where? Ah. Oh, now this can't be good. <laughs> Hello. Who are you? Can we go this way? Hey. Nope. 
<laughs> Maybe we can, but I don't want to. Oh, damn. But, oh, and now the door unlocked. Oh, shit. Okay, right. It's either... Oh, oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Do I have to pick your pocket? Oh, that's the one place I didn't want to go, but I'm actually alive. <laughs>